New Beginnings Grace Ministries. A church has managed to overcome several obstacles in their path, including the language power from English to Spanish to Creole, in order to create a home where everyone is welcome. I guess the Boca Church is a little bit different than the other churches that we've been able to be part of the planting and the building up of them because there's the differences between the language. Remember, we're dealing with not only a Spanish and English language church like we did in the past, but now we're dealing with a church that speaks Creole. So we've gotten into the issues with the language barriers, we've gotten into issues with cultural barriers. I mean, for the majority of that church, you're talking about them being Haitian, where here we're walking in and we're Hispanic. So it, it's a very different lingo, it's a very different style of worship, it's a very different different style of, of working, our work ethic is different, everything is very different. But difference is what makes us great, you know, and the truth of the matter is that what I've been able to see in all the different ministries that we've been working with and we've built up has been that the differences is really what makes us unique, it makes us a unique church. So I know that we are exactly where we're supposed to be and all we have to do is push forward from here. In an effort to restore this establishment, the church spent over eight hours working hard in order to completely transform the building. So we started this project of renovating and restoring the sanctuary. It was quite interesting because it was a, a bigger project than we thought, but we went in there and really jazzed it up, really changed it up. We steam cleaned the carpets, we steam cleaned the seats, we painted the place, we took all the audio equipment that was there, we took it and we changed it completely and upgraded it. It was an awesome project. Through the hard work and effort of its laborers, New Beginnings Grace Ministries has established an atmosphere of happiness and togetherness. I like coming to this church because it's not like any ordinary church. The people there, they just treat you like family, make you feel very welcome, they're loving and kind, and even though we're not the same culture, you can still relate to them and make lots and lots of friends. I like coming to church because it's my favorite, because I like church, because I like the color and right on the board. In order to seal the deal, the church assembled a service bringing together all of its members for an awesome day of fellowship. We had a great time at our inauguration service. It was the beginning of a new church, a merger that, we, that took place and uh, it was really just a new start, a new beginning. We celebrated with food, we celebrated with, with songs of worship, we celebrated with just coming together, eating, different people singing different songs, because it's a time of celebration, a new beginning, a new start. It's the opportunity for people to come together with a freshness. So this was all part of the inauguration service and it was really a good time and a time for two different peoples to come together unite as one under the same faith. In the end, New Beginnings Grace Ministries has prevailed over countless obstructions and truly created a new beginning.